want to create an applique cut file, which is right up here, save applique cutouts for a cutout file to use in Cricut Design Space because you want to use your Cricut cutting machine to cut out the leather or the fabric or whatever applique you need to create this design to keep you from having to cut it out by hand. Let me show you how to create your cut file in Cricut. This design is for a hand sanitizer key fob and if you would like to know where to purchase this totally adorable key fob hand sanitizer design you can go to designs by little b designs by little b .com, and here is the hand sanitizer key fob and snap tab and as of right now it's three dollars and then she also has some little teeny keychains that go with it which are super cute and they right now are a dollar so if you head over now they're on sale here is the hand sanitizer key fob and I don't want to have to cut this out by hand I want to cut out the pieces to this design ahead of time so the first thing you want to do is find the main outline to the entire design so here is color stop number 14 and when you click on color stop number 14 notice it's a continuous line all the way around the design if we were to pick the first one which is number one notice there's a little space right here so we don't want to use this one we want to use the one that's continuous with no breaks so now that you've picked the one with no breaks to it we want to go up here to the applique cutout and click that button now we want to save this cutout we want to save it as an SVG notice my inflation factor is 1.30 the one that you'll notice is default set is 1 now I'm going to save this one and show you the difference with the inflation factor so we're going to leave it at 1 and save cutout and it tells us that it saved it to our desktop which is great that's where I want that to save now I'm also going to do another one now this is just for me to show you how the inflation factor works so now we're going to take the inflation factor to one point let's say 1.20 now I'm going to save the cutout and then this is going to try and save it as the same name and let me make sure we have both files on the desktop nope it overwrote this one so I'm going to rename this one number two and we're going to save it again because that the uh, one that's 1.20 overwrote the one that was at the default setting of one so now I'm going to save it again as uh, the underscore one SVG with the inflation factor of one so when we go to upload our SVG to Cricut Design Space before you upload it click on this 14 color stop that you made your applique cut out out of click on that only and notice up here in the upper right hand corner 2.91 inches wide by 3.83 inches high whether this is inches or whether it's in metric you need to know what this is okay 2.91 by 3.83 with Cricut Design Space it will upload inflated it will upload at a larger size so let me show you how to fix that let's go to new project upload upload image and now I'm going to browse to my desktop and I'm going to bring in the one that was set at the default inflation factor of one and we'll click here so that's file one and we're going to open it and it pulled in not sure why that slice is there but it pulled in so we're going to hit save and then we're going to click on upload it and insert images notice when the 
SVG is uploaded into Cricut Design Space, when we click on it, the size, it says it's 10.25 inches wide by 13.51 inches tall. All right, now let's go back to Sew It Pro and look at the size it's supposed to be. 2.91 inches wide by 3.83 inches tall. Not the same thing, Cricut. That's horrible. So let's go back to Cricut and remember it's 2.91 inches wide. Okay. So when we go into Cricut, it's selected. So we'll do 2.91 inches wide and hit enter. And notice that the height goes to 3.837. So let's go back into so what pro and notice the measurement here for the height automatically went to the correct size 3.83 okay so with your inflation factor of one you want to resize your cut file to the exact same size that it is in so what pro 2.91 by 3.83 okay so that's if your inflation factor is at one. That's how you can import your applique cutout file to Cricut Design Space and size it correctly. So what is the inflation factor exactly? So let's go into a little bit more mathematical. And you guys know I'm not a huge math person. so. Uh, but this is actually pretty easy and I have another program that I use that will help explain it a lot better. So remember we took our inflation factor up to 1.20 I believe is where we had it right there. Now what I'm going to do is use this program called Make the Cut to show you how the inflation factor works. So let's open this up. And the reason why I use Make the Cut in between my programs and Cricut is because Cricut inflates or makes the design that you upload to Cricut much larger than it's supposed to be in some instances. So to double check and make sure of what the size is supposed to be before it gets to Cricut, I use Make the Cut. So what I'm going to do is import the SVG file that so what pro made so this is zero one and we'll open it as you see it's here and then we'll do the one that had the inflation factor and we'll open that one and notice it's bigger that's because we inflated it now the inflation factor that we picked was one point two zero so if you look at this first one that had the inflation factor of one and we go up here to the size notice the width is 2.9055 and then the height is 3.8307 now this program doesn't change the size so so what pro actually saved it as very close or right at the size that this line is so notice the width is 2.91 right here the width is 2.9055 so it's smidge smaller but you won't be able to notice that with the bare eye but the measurement is here and the proof is in the pudding so pretty much the same size and let's double check the width 3.83 now let's go to the height here 3.83 so notice that's exactly the same size as what it is in so what pro so when we're looking at an inflation factor of one one times one is the same number one so there is really no inflation to the design whatsoever but if we change it and inflate it by 1.20 then what you essentially end up doing is you are multiplying 
this by your inflation. So if the width is 2.9055, let's pull out the calculator, 2.9055 times 1.20, then our new width of this one should be 3.4866. Let's see if that's what it is. 3.4882, so very close. Pretty much that's what you're looking at when you're looking at the inflation. So the same for the height, 3.8307. 8307 times 1.20. This is what our new height should be. Let's pull them up together. 4.5984, 4.59684. So pretty similar, very close, close enough to where you know just how much bigger you want your key fob to cut out. So if I lay the one uh, times inflation inside the 1.20 you see that's pretty huge that's pretty significant there uh the size so when this stitches remember this is the one that's the exact same size as the pattern when this stitches if we choose to inflate it by 1.20 this is how much extra um fabric or leather or vinyl that you'll have outside of the original stitch line so if you don't want your uh, key fob uh, hand sanitizer holder to have this much overlap, then we need to adjust. Instead of doing the 1.20, you wanna go smaller. So let's do a new inflation. And prior to doing that, to make sure that it um, comes through okay, we're gonna rename this one as just one okay because we know the new one is going to save as zero one and we don't want it to overwrite that one so now let's do an inflation factor remember it was at one so let's go to half of that and go to half of what we did before and do 10 and see what it looks like we're going to save that and see notice it did save as zero one all right, now we're going to import this one right here. And we'll open that and now look at the difference in the overlap that you'll have when you cut that out with Cricut Design Space or Cricut or your cutting machine. Now this information isn't just for Cricut. This information is for any cutting machine that you choose to use. So this shows you the inflation factors and how they work in case you did not know, okay? So here are the different ones. Remember this largest one was 1.20. This middle one was by 1.10. So here are the examples of inflation factor, how they work, how they calculate, okay? And this lets you know which one you want to upload into Cricut Design Space. So we had that one, but if we wanted to upload the 1.10 one, then you're gonna have to do some math, unfortunately. So let's open this one. I'm gonna save that. And now let's insert this image and notice it's way bigger than what it's supposed to be but we know that we did an inflation of 1.10 let's go back to so what pro and we'll take this 2.91 2.91 and then multiply it by 1.10 so our new width should be 3.2 01. So instead of 2.91, 3.201. Okay, and you remember you don't have to do the height. The inflation is going to keep it even. 
as you change one of the part of the measurement. So instead of 2.91, we want it to be 3.201. So let's change this to 3.201, hit enter on our keyboard, and this is the correct size of our key fob. So hopefully that explanation made some sense. Hopefully it's helpful to you. Um, whenever there are issues like this we'll have to discuss that in a different episode but for now the inflation factor that is in the applique cutout on so what pro i wanted to explain that and how that worked and for people who use the cricut and the cricut design space i wanted to explain how to upload your applique files and how to resize them appropriately I hope this video was helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't mind, subscribe to our channel because we do offer quite helpful videos on So What Pro and on embroidery, bling, vinyl, as well as sublimation. We also go live on Sundays at 8 p.m. and we look forward to having you a part of our Hoop Group family. Until the next time we see you, we hope you have happy embroidering.